Welcome to Cocktail Corner, I'm the Gnome, and this is Gnome's Tavern, and I'm extra pumped up for today's episode because I entered this cocktail into Bourbon Fest's Evan Williams Cocktail Competition, and I'm in the finals, baby! We made the finals, so I do have to present it uh, the day after I uh, record this, so the day of when I posted it. So guys, wish me luck in the comments. Tell me what you think of this cocktail, and uh, when are you gonna enjoy it? And the name of the cocktail, shout out to my mother for the name, is called Evanly Brewed, because it uses coffee and Evan Williams bottled and bond. So that was the one rule of the contest, is you had to make a unique cocktail using Evan Williams. And I really love Evan Williams Bottled and Bond. I think it's one of the best whiskeys for its price point. I got it for 12 bucks. And this is an amazing whiskey, one of my top whiskeys. I really enjoy it. But we're gonna do an ounce and a half first of Evan Williams. And I don't have a pour stopper, so we might get a little bit more, but that's okay. Bam! Ounce and a half of Evan Williams. And now we're gonna do an ounce and a quarter of our brew. I'm gonna use cold brew, because I really love a nice cold brew. It's got super bitter flavors that's gonna help balance itself out. So we're gonna do an ounce and a quarter of cold brew. All right, bam. And now we're gonna do a full ounce of this rosemary blood orange uh, simple syrup. It's made with, uh, you make simple syrup, you juice up a bunch of blood oranges and throw in rosemary and you put it to taste. Uh, this is something Mark made at work and I've been obsessed with it. I've made at least two cocktails with it. So you might see another cocktail coming up with it. Uh, I really love this stuff. I'm super pumped to use it. And I think uh, orange and coffee go amazing together. I think people don't realize how great. I always put orange bitters in my coffee because I really enjoy it. All right, so we're doing an ounce of that. Now we're gonna do a couple of dashes of cinnamon. Uh, you can stick your finger in and do it, but this is the hazardous way. All right, come on, get out. It's showtime, so we're gonna do a little, I'm gonna push it in a little bit. I'm gonna say about two to three pinches of cinnamon. Uh, you don't want too much, because cinnamon will overpower the drink, but we just want a nice hint of it as we're drinking. Then we're gonna do three dashes of cocoa bitters. One, two, three. Get those nice three dashes. I like this Angostura cocoa. Really, really nice. Because chocolate and oranges and coffee all just go well together. And then I need a little hit kick in the back. So we're going to do uh, seven little drops of Ella Macule bitters. Four, five, six, seven. Ooh, seven. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm throwing ingredients around. And we're going to shake this sucker up. Because I like the nice foam it gets, and I really want to incorporate that coffee and that cinnamon together. So we're going to shake her for about 12 to 15 seconds. Seven, eight, nine. Just enough to get those ingredients together. And we're going to take a nice chilled coupe glass. As mine's been sitting there for a good little bit, as people have been texting me excited. And we're going to pour it. You can double strain if you want. I kind of like a little ice chips in it, but that's up to you. And it's gonna be this great, royal, rich color. Oh, it's almost like it was made for this glass. Perfect, perfect line. And we're gonna top it off with a cherry. I was thinking about doing uh, some grounded almonds on top, uh, but I don't know. I, Logan, who helped with the picture, shout out to Logan, uh, says he always loves a nice cherry when he does, when he has a drink. So I was like, you know what? Screw it, I have cherries, we're gonna do it. Oh, and it just drizzles that nicely. Sits above the foam. And there you have it, the Evanly Brewed Cocktail. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see if I win. <laughs> Definitely will do some, I'll shoot some videos of it, maybe post a little, little thing. I don't know, Courtney, you're coming? Yes, Courtney's coming, so maybe she'll shoot me stumbling through the cocktail. But let's give it a little taste. Oh, so good. I love it. I get the peanut notes from the Evan Williams with the nice coffee that's just through it all. And then I get that spike of the orange that just is subtle. And then the cinnamon and the heat are at the back end of it. Just giving me a nice taste. Like the sip is staying with me, which is my favorite part of the drink. 
I think this is one of my favorite drinks I've made. I know every time I make a new drink, I'm like, this is my favorite drink, but I think this one is my top drink. And guys, if you really love this drink, put that in the comment, wish me the best luck, cheer me on, as we hope to win a free trip to Kentucky. And don't forget the most important thing of everything there is, always tip that bartender. Peace.